Yes, Mr. Honorable Dr. Olubumi Tunji Ojo, uh, you are welcome. Congratulations on your nomination for, by Mr. President. So, if you have any, uh, just give us a, a summary of your resume. I notice you are currently a member of the House of uh, Representatives, and you were also in the ninth uh, House of Representatives. So, give us a resume of uh, just a summarized version. Thank you, distinguished President of the Senate, the leadership of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Let me start by appreciating God Almighty for the unique privilege he has given me this, this opportunity. My name is Honorable Olubumi Tunji Ojo. Um, I was born on the 1st of May, 1982. I, I hail from Okiagwe Akoko in Akoko Northwest Local Government of Ondo State. I, I was a member of the Ninth Assembly and presently a member of the Tenth Assembly in the House of Representatives. In the Ninth Assembly, I was chairman of the Committee of Niger Delta Development Commission, the NDDC, in the Ninth Assembly. And in the, um, at the moment, I'm a serving member. I, my details are as iterated in the resume. I went to my primary school, starting from Hagda International in Kaduna, then to Universal Primary School in Akure. Then my secondary school, Futa Staff Secondary School, Akure, then my university, I started from Obafemi Aulowo University, Electrical Electronics Engineering, then moved to University of North London for my uh, first degree in Electronics and Communication Engineering. And I'm also an alumnus of the Britannia Training Academy, where I qualified as a certified ethical hacker in the year 2006. Uh, before, my, before being elected to the parliament, in 2019, I was into private practice. Um, I consulted for so many multinationals, so many national bodies in the educational sector, oil and gas sector, the World Bank, and a couple of other organizations. Um, at this juncture, I think I need to um, pause a moment, sir. Yes, Sadiq. Senator Sadiq. Thank you, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues. Uh, nominee, congratulations. As a honorable member, we know the principle is, you know, we allow you to take a bow, which is good. However, for the purposes of doing a clean job, this is the Senate of the Federal Republic, so we want to be sure that when we clear you, we can be sure we've done a very good job. Uh, your NYC certificate versus, you know, your date of birth. You were born in 1982, correct? And in your NYC certificate, I have two concerns, just to clarify, so that you know we are sure that, you know, uh, you serve between 28 November 19, 2020. So that's what. No, no, there is a so, mistake in their certificate. It's, it's, it's a problem. Is it, is it a topographical error? No, let him, no, let him clarify that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. He needs to clarify. Uh, off your mind. Mr. Judge. The Simmons colleagues, when we are uh, handling the confirmation, the nominees are not going to be before us again. 
and there is what they call the rule of all the uttering pattern. Let the other side be heard. So if he has made any observation, let the nominee clarify it and take a bow. It's not, a, it's not, it's not an issue. But, uh, but you wouldn't have another opportunity. Otherwise, outside there, people will think, think that we are covering up anything when we are not covering up anything. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Uh, President, Sitting as Chair. Uh, for emphasis, like I said, I mean, we, we still need to protect the institution that we are all proud of and is part of this uh, institution. So I just want a clarification. There's a discrepancy between when you were born and when you serve, including when the DG signed your NYC certificate. Because NYC certificates are always signed the same date with when you serve. But there's a discrepancy in your, can you please clarify, just for the record, so that we are sure, you know, we've done a good job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, distinguished senator. Let me first of all say that um, I graduated in 2005 in the United Kingdom. And I think by law, establishing the NYSC, according to the law, establishing the NYSC, it's from the date of your graduation, if you are below 30, or you are above 30, that's when you are accepted. So even if you come back to Nigeria and um, you want to serve at any point in time. Once you graduate before the age of 30, you are, it's an obligation to the nation that you have to perform it. So that is, it's, a, it's as simple as that. Sir. Yeah. OK, so yeah, you, uh, if you graduate outside, uh, and once you come back to the country, if you are still below 30, even if you are above 30, uh, if you graduate before 30, you should go ahead and serve. Uh, uh, which is the one that you get exemption? Exemption. If you are above 30, you get exemption. But if you are below 30, you can serve. So, uh, this is which. I, I just want, uh, I, in line with our practice here, is there anybody from uh, Ondo State that would like to say something? Uh, why Jimo? Is there, uh, you're not from Ondo State now. Is there anybody from Ondo? Okay, Jimo, if you are the only one from... Oh, no. Uh, San, 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 please. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. President, sitting as chair. Adini Yade Gwamiri, Ondo Central. My understanding of what... Uh, the nominee is saying is that what the law says is that you become, you have an obligation to serve from the day you graduate. So let's assume that you graduate at 28, but you are not in the country. You are abroad and you come back at 35. That's why the fact that you have returned to Nigeria at 35, you still have to go and serve. And that's what he's saying. That yes, I've been out of the country, but by the time I came back, I graduated before 30. I still had that obligation to serve. Um, and that's my understanding of what he was trying to message, he was trying to pass, and that is the law. Um, uh, uh, apart from that, um, I think that <clears throat> having clarified that, my view is that having extended the privilege of being a member of the House of Reps to everybody. I see no reason why we should not extend the same privilege to the nominee. I therefore most respectfully, sir, Mr. President, sitting as chair, seek your Lord, seek your Excellency's indulgence to permit the nominee in our tradition to take a bow and go. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, in line with the demands of our rules, you may take a bow. <laughs> 